Hello everyone, my name is Alan Zero, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get your VIA HD audio card working again if for some reason it's quit recently in Windows 10. This happened to me over the weekend and it just totally threw me for a loop for about six hours till I could figure it out. Um, the basics of it is is that it gives you a update driver in Windows 10 automatic updates that you can't decline right off the bat. I'll show you how to in a minute. And it just updates it for you. You might have to restart your computer. In my case I didn't. It just installed it and literally the night before I watched some YouTube working just fine with my headset and then the next morning it just didn't work over the night because I leave my computer on for file serve use um, over the night it just didn't even it just didn't even work at all so I did some searching finally figured it out a little bit of searching and a little bit of on my own I figured out what the problem was and then I looked up a guide on how to do the um, hiding of an update so the basics of it is is that you have to essentially completely erase anything related to the VIA hardware and then I had to use a Windows 8.1 driver so to first of all I'm gonna go to this PC properties and this is Windows 7 or Windows 10 Pro sorry 64-bit device manager and then we're going to go down to sound and video game controllers as you can see right now I have Windows 8 but it'll probably say Windows 10 beside it instead and I would say uninstall and then make sure you check this box delete the driver software for this device if you don't it'll have the same junk in there and whenever you try to add it again it'll put the same stuff in there and you'll be literally right back where you started so it does you no good essentially and then you'd click OK I'm not going to click OK right now because I've already done this and I don't want to mess it up so then we'll exit out of that exit out both of those then I go down here and do apps the settings apps and features now it'll search for a second to find your apps and features and then you're going to go through here and anything related to the VIA like your sound deck and anything like that it's got to go see like this right here you'd have to go an easy way that they've done here is that you can search VIA or HD sometimes it shows up as HD but anything related to VIA or your sound you have to get rid of so like there's one I believe there's a deck around here somewhere too that you have to get rid of. Uh, I may have only installed that one with the Windows 8 driver. But there's also a sound deck whenever I did mine. It may have been something that was installed by Windows. So you uninstall that, everything related to that. Now this next part might be different for some people and it might not be the same for all VIA HD but I've seen it as a similar problem with some people they hadn't really figured it out yet I've posted on some of those forums to try and help people but for me it was going to my motherboard manufacturer and then doing support and download doing driver and then I actually did Windows 8 64-bit and used the American version now depending on if this is a stock PC like one mine is a custom PC I made it so it's a little bit it's kind of like a budget build like I say it's used for file serve and things like that but um you might have to go to a different spot you might have to go to HP or whatnot to find out if you have a off the store ordered PC and then the next part is after you install all this you're gonna restart actually you won't restart I'm sorry about that you won't restart you'll actually go to this website and I posted a video about this for others 
Um, I can also put this link again in that video description so that you can see it. I won't go through all the features of this, but the main part on this, and this is an official Microsoft thing, they obviously know it's a problem, but they don't want to fix it. They make you go through all this rigmarole just to cancel an update, unlike they used to with um, Windows 7 and before, where you could just decline one. But you'll download this tool, go ahead and say open. Now this allows you to show and hide updates, which should be a part of the main operating system, but for some reason we have to download a tool for it. Um, GG Microsoft, really. But anyway, go next, it'll detect and at the moment mine is hidden so it won't actually find anything but see I would say hide updates and see here's some updates that are currently on there and I could hide them this one will, there are usually two with the VIA HD audios one says VIA HD audio driver and then the other one says device driver and you'd want to cancel both of those and then click next it'll go through and it'll say that it's a nice little um, that it's been fixed and you won't see it again now the only problem with this is though is that if three days later they put in another driver update you're gonna get that too and then it's gonna push that to you so unfortunately it's just one of those things you kinda have to watch for but I'm gonna cancel this out at the moment and then you'll restart your computer and hopefully you will be back to hearing beautiful audio after you change oh that's another thing um, some people might have a different monitor set up so you actually have to come down here to your little speaker hit playback devices and see I have an HDM, uh, HDMI out if it doesn't have anything it defaults to whatever it has so if you have an HDMI out on your video card it will probably default to that and you just have to right click here and say set as default like it is down here and then it'll be ready to play So I really hope this helps somebody and I don't know why Microsoft has decided to do it this way but that's the way it is um, I know it's a pretty specific way to do this for the VIA HD and I know it's happened before with like the NVIDIA driver fiasco where it just blacked out people's screens but so Microsoft really you, you need to get this fixed you need to figure out we need to be able to choose easier I mean that's just all there is to it so please Microsoft Windows 10 is awesome but some little things make it not so much awesome anyway like I said my name is Alan Zero thank you for watching please like the video if you liked it or it helped you and dislike it if well you disliked it or you thought it was just stupid anyway thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time